Hi there, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can edit the velocities of a recording using MIDI Transform in Logic's Piano Roll. So I've got a retro synth loaded up on this audio instrument here and I've recorded in a little bit of a, a pattern live. You can hear the velocity variation as it was recorded live. Some notes are quite loud, some are quite quiet. Let's hit P to bring up our piano roll here and we can see the velocities of this recording down here. If you can't see the velocities that aren't showing this button here will show or hide the velocities of your recording. So we can actually snap the velocities very quickly in Logic Pro. If I just hit Command and A to select all of these notes and then bring up my velocity tool here and I can hold Alt or Option and Shift and then click and drag on one of the notes and you can see it snaps them all there and it's a very quick way of just, and then we could say bring them all up or take them all down. So very quick way to snap velocities if we wanted to do that. But what if we wanted to re retain that, that human feel of the recording and have the variation in the velocities. We can actually use MIDI Transform to do this. So I'm going to go to my Functions drop down menu. I'm going to go to MIDI Transform. We also have the option in here to fix velocities. Uh, doing it the way we showed you previously is much quicker, but you can do it in the MIDI Transform as well. But what I'm going to look at here is the random velocity, because this is quite interesting. So I'm going to click that there. And what we can do here is we can set a randomized value for the velocities. So with this recording, we like the human element, but there's too much variation. You know, some of the notes are too loud, some are too quiet, but we want to keep that human element to things. We can use this random here. So I could say the random here velocity, this is the range it's going to randomize. So I could maybe pull this down to say 100 and push this up to 50. And now what it will do, it will randomize the velocities of this MIDI region between 50 and 100. And we have some options down here, select only, operate only, select and operate. And if we just want to select the notes in the region, we can. It's not going to operate on them. And then we could operate, or you could select and operate, which would just select them all. The reason it has these other options is because if you just wanted to select a section, of the MIDI notes here to operate on than you could do. We'll go select and operate and let's have a look at our MIDI region now and you can see to change that randomized selection and we could do it a bit tighter and say you know it's still a little bit too much variation because it's quite a velocity sensitive patch so I'm going to go 70 to 80, select and operate, close this down. And I've got some slight fluctuations in the velocities of the recording there. So we can also use the MIDI transform to create a really nice drum crescendo. I've got an acoustic snare loaded on this EXS24 instrument here. This was a snare loaded from the EXS24 factory. And I'm going to create an empty MIDI region here. Extend this for the length of the four bars and hit P to bring up my piano roll. And I'm going to start off by just drawing in a drum crescendo, maybe on 16th notes. And I'm going to use the brush tool to do this very quickly here. could do with all of these being the same pitch. So go back to my pointer tool and just move these all to the same pitch. So, you know, it's not, we've got this drum roll here. There's no dynamics, it's all one velocity. So it's not really serving the purpose of maybe being a little bit of a snare roll. So we can actually use the MIDI transform to achieve this. So I'm going to go to my functions, drop down MIDI transform and look at the crescendo. And 
this will create a crescendo with the velocity. So we can set the range here from starting at one and going up to one, two, seven, and then we can either select only, operate only, select and operate. So I'm gonna go select and operate here, and let's have a look at what we've created there. Something really nice crescendo. that rises, the velocities rise as we go along. So great for snare rolls, drum rolls, stuff like that. And something like this would take an awful long time to program manually. So that's another really powerful feature of MIDI transform. We'll have a look in the next video at how we can use the randomized pitch feature in MIDI transform to chop up and rearrange existing drum loops or vocal loops and create something really unique with them. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Any questions, please give us a shout and thanks for watching.